Realising our dream to move to France came earlier than anticipated. Come with us and enjoy the trials and tribulations that have occurred. Follow me, Joe Harris, my husband Steve and our gorgeous Fox Red Labrador Morse on our journey to integrate into French society. Bon courage! So, step 13. Unlucky for some. And we were unlucky with the awful weather in England, but it brightened up as we drove down south through France. We were amazed to see fruit still on the vine, although the leaves were beginning to turn. It was October now, and everything was slipping into autumnal colours. It is my favourite time of year, with the scent of bonfires on the breeze and gold and reds reflecting in the foliage all around. We had almost forgotten that we had left the house half naked, so the first job was to plasterboard between the beams. It took a joint effort and took an age. Then, while Steve got busy upstairs, I had my work cut out. So, my job today was to paint the ceiling. Um, so the only bit I couldn't reach is over the top of this cupboard. And... Um, it's not too bad. I mean, missed a couple of bits. Can't believe that. But it's actually done with um, a watered down um, filler, just so that it's, well, it's not like artexing, but it's because it's smooth. But it just has covered. Well, these are the ones I did today, so they're still wet. So this is more what it looks like when it's dry. But it's not. I haven't dribbled it all down. <laughs> That's filler from the other day so that's all going to be well I've sandpapered all that as well and then we're going to get the green paint which is slightly different from this color it's slightly less green in fact in this <laughs> from here this looks sort of quite luminous it's not it's not that color at all that's this is better like see that what it looks like there is more what it looks like um, but yeah so the color we've had mixed is a grey green which just takes back from this colour slightly. Morse and I ventured up the steep staircase to see what Steve was up to. This is the beautiful bath that we bought for an absolute bargain from Facebook Marketplace and this is where Steve had put it. The bathroom was developing all around and as usual he had achieved so much in such a short time. Steve's up the ladder. <laughs> I'm filming, by the way. And this is the wall going up for the bathroom. Um, it's very high and mighty. Five metres. Five metres. It's going to be a tall bathroom. Yes. So I'll come down. There's plenty of room to swing the camp. Yes. If we had one. So there's the bath. So, yeah. It's going to be going to be quite good. The floorboards have all shrunk a bit, so we've got holes in the boards, but um it's all in the rustic look. It's the rustic look. But to think that we got these so much cheaper than um seasoned ones, it's quite amazing. Well, Steve and I have both got this awful cold that everyone that went to Emily's party has now got. Uh, we're not feeling great. It's about day four now, but feeling a bit better than I was, and I think Steve is too. So look at all this electricity and water going on. Very exciting. The bathroom was really coming on. Steve thought it would be funny to put a chair where the loo might be. This is a fabulous door we found in a reclamation yard, which I mentioned quite a few times. The rustic look again. But given a little facelift, it was perfect. All well, work has started on the old new bathroom door, which we bought from the reclamation centre yesterday in Confalon. For £23.40. For £23.40. It's very old, um, but very sort of secure. And uh, we gave it, or well, Steve gave it a little bit of a wash last night and just one little bit and it just came up so beautifully so he's now just taking the top off um seeing what what it's like underneath so 
we almost have a bathroom. <laughs> That's that gorgeous chest of drawers that we got on Facebook Marketplace. And that lovely bath that we've got on the same place too. There's the ballon. Floors all down, all the plumbing in. And oh my god, there's a wall right up to the ceiling. Uh, we've decided that we're going to put the ceiling on this from that beam across. Um, so we've got a little bit of sort of loft space then to sort of have a bit of storage. Um, but this, this door that Steve's busily working on is going to go here by this massive oak beam that again we went to a place to get with Ted and um, I think we were expecting to sort of pay a hundred and something quid for it we got it for 40 so it's incredible so not too pricey so I'm all very wobbly I've only just got up <laughs> and no it's not three o'clock in the afternoon but it doesn't it all look different <laughs> It sounds different in here and everything. It's amazing. That's the spotlight. That, all, all that bit of beam is going to be showing. We're going to plasterboard between the triangles. So, it's all incredibly coming on. Oh, we seem to have a door. <laughs> That's going to look so cool. Oh, Steve's um, ground down the front of it, whatever the words are. <coughs> Sanded. Sanded. Ground down. It's not coffee, for God's sake. The sunlight coming through that window, so pretty. And that bit of wood that's on the stands there is going to go on the bottom, just to make kick it a plate. bit taller. A kick plate. A kick plate, so we can kick it. Oh, that was looking so lovely. Hmm. <laughs> Now that we had decided on a slightly lower ceiling, we discussed downlighters. Although for us an unusual modern touch, I have always loved them, so that is what we chose. Some silver foil insulation was added, plasterboard followed by the laborious job of tape and jointing, more insulation and yet more plasterboard, and things were really materialising fast. We had made drawings of where we wanted the basin and the toilet, although at the sketching stage we had not quite realised how much space we would have. The words cats and swinging came to mind. Well, welcome to the bathroom. <laughs> We've now got a bit of a wall up and a fabulous door. This is the, I'm sure I've mentioned it before, we, we got this from the Reclamation Centre. And basically, Steve's just sanded it and put a kickboard on the bottom, and it's just perfect. And it's so lovely, really old and gnarly. And um, so we've got some, um, like a dado rail across there, and underneath this tongue and groove, which is going to be painted the f the family green. We have a basin. Um, I'm looking at it, it looks a little bit like a really smiley frog. Um, it's got about six tiles behind it, they're the same as the ones in the kitchen. And a lovely bottle of the Dorb. And so Steve's done all this, we've got a fantastic toilet. Not working yet, but anyway, but it's got one of those lids that closes on its own. So no more toilets with lids open. Ta-da! We put in an oak post in anticipation of a new cupboard and couldn't resist trying out a mirror that my mother donated. But it was that lovely door we couldn't stop thinking about, so decided that the next day we would revisit Confolon and get another if we could. We're on our way to Confolon to buy another door for the bathroom because um, we're going to have another old door on the bathroom. The sun is just coming up over there. I don't know if you can see. Well, I can't see, so of course you can't see. But I'm trying to. It's probably going to be horrible with all the trees going by. But it should show it in a second. Whee! Wow! It looks like a bomb's gone off. 
Right, this is the, the next new door in the bathroom that's going to hide the ballon, which is the white thing behind the door. <gasps> What's happening? Oh, it's Steve! <laughs> Look what he's done. This is another door that we've, I think I've mentioned in another video, that we've bought from Confalon, the rec reclamation yard. And it's the same almost as the one, as the, the other one. So Steve's going to build a cupboard to hide the ballon. And we're going to have shelves in, in there. So it's like a bit of like an airing cupboard. I'm going to have a little bit of a heater in there as well. Um, what do you think? Well, that one. Yeah. That heater down there. And that's a Morse! Hello! He's a clever old dog. Oh. Right, so it's all blooming coming along. And this is the other door. But aren't they? They're so alike. They've got the same hinges and everything on them. Um, and the same little screws and everything. So we're thinking they might have come from a very... Maybe the same thing, whatever it was, and we do think that they might be the oldest things in the house. Apart from me. Apart from Steve. <laughs> but he's done all the um, filling today. Did that at five o'clock this morning while I was snoring. <clears throat> uh, but this door has come up. I mean, you should have seen it when we bought it home. It was lovely, but it was really rickety and dusty and... Well, it probably looks rickety and dusty to you now, but it's got holes in and stuff. It's absolutely perfect. The sort of thing we love. I thought I'd leave you with a brief look around that wonderful reclamation yard we found in the town of Confalon. As you can see, it has an inexhaustible supply of wood and wooden things. It is a beautiful old building and well worth a visit. Inside is just an Aladdin's cave, jam-packed full of magical and mysterious objects. Too much for the eye to take in, really. Steve found an interesting light hanging, but as you can probably guess, he went on to make something far superior himself. So, see you soon for the next bathroom update, and take care. A bientôt!